Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Paychecks and Prayers. Here on our channel, you'll see some cash flipping videos of our expenses, some savings goals, and occasionally we'll do a cash condensing video and exchange our real bills for prop bills to then take to the bank. Please stick around and join me on our video today. Hi friends, how's it going for you today? So it is the final day of November. It is November 30th and we're finally doing a cash condensing video. I know you guys really truly love these videos. So I'm excited to fill them for you. And yeah, I hope you truly enjoy. We're gonna dive in into all of our binders and cash condense all the small bills into larger bills. And we'll do some prop bill exchange so that we can take some of the real bills back to the bank and we can just represent them with prop money. So I do have some here in representation for what we actually saved in those envelopes. And we'll go through it, don't worry. So if you do have um, any questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I love looking at your comments and reading them. So yeah, let's go ahead and start off with our high priority binder. Alrighty. So starting off with annual fees, we should have in here $340. So we have one, two, 340, which is correct. I'll exchange these two fifties for a $100 bill. Oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, I did start with $1,100. So we are ending with $340. So that was a change of, that was a negative change of $220. For association, we should have $272. So that's 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. We'll put that down and grab 100. 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, because we need, I'll leave the 20. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. And we'll trade this in for a 50. So now we have $272. So that's perfect. 272. And that was a positive change of 136. All right, so car insurance is empty because we had to pay it off this month. So it has $0 in it, and that would be then a negative change of $1,000 in this case. For car registration, I'm sorry, for car maintenance, we have $250, so we'll keep the 100, 20, 40, 60, 81. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. All right. So 250 is in car maintenance. Was a positive change of 120. Car registration is empty because we also paid that this month. And that was a negative change of 70. So I have a feeling that we're gonna be kind of low in these numbers, but we'll see. Costco has $200, so we'll take two 100s to condense that. And that was a positive change of 200. Household is ending the month with 145. I don't have any fives yet, but this is a very, very crummy five. So when I do have some change, I will change out that five because I can take that ugly five back to the bank and keep a newer looking one. But nonetheless, we ended with 145. So that was a positive change of 25. 
toiletries is one of our newer uh, categories, and it has $80 in there. Let's see, do we have a better 10? Probably not. I've noticed that like 10s and 5s are always pretty bad. That one's a lot better than this one at least. So we still have 80 in toiletries. So that was a positive change of 30. Medical started the month with um, $50. So now we are ending with 20, 40, 60, 80, 110 dollars. I will put all of this down and grab a 100 and a 10. Oh boy. Got our slim pickings here. Okay, so 110 for medical. And that was a positive change of 60. Dental will be ending the month with 110, 15, 25, 30. So I'll keep the 10 and trade this in for a 20. Okay, 130 in dental. So that was a positive change of 20. Vision is ending the month with 120, 45, 50. We can put all this down for a 50. So 150 in vision still. And that means that was a positive change of 20. Our puppy has $125. So we can trade these two for a 100. And that means that was a positive change of $100. So our month ahead, we'll be getting some prop money. I believe, so we have 2,500 in prop already. This should be $100, 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, one. So perfect, we'll put all this down and grab a $100 prop. So now that still puts us at $2,600 for month ahead. And I do have that written down on the side there, so I know that I have to be taking that back to the bank. And we ended the month with a positive 100. All right, and our just in case is always at 1,000. So there was no change there. Perfect. So let's go ahead and add this all up. And we will see what we ended the month of November. So in our high priority, so we ended the month with $5,402. So that was a negative change of $400 $29 for this month because you know we had that car insurance come out we had a few annual fees and car registration so I knew that was going to take a hit but that's okay let's move on to our low priority binder Alrighty, and in our low priority binder starting off with manifest we will be taking back $100 from here. We should have 600 total. There's 500 already in the bank. So 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100. And we'll put a prop in there. So 600 is still in manifest. Perfect. So that means that we had a positive change of $100 there. Anniversary is ending the month with $500. So we have one, two, 300 already in the bank. 
50, 70, 90, 410, 430 for 50, 460, 70, 80, 90, $500 total. We'll put all this down. And let's actually put these prop bills as well down. And we will get this $500 placeholder and put that in anniversary. So we currently have 500 in the bank for our anniversary and we'll be heading to our anniversary next week. I am so excited, or sorry, not next week, the following week. And yeah, we'll be talking a little bit more about that next month. So from 500, that was a positive change of 170. All right, beauty is one of our newest categories. And let's see, in beauty, at the end of October, we ended with $20. So that will be our starting balance. And now we are ending November with 20, 40, 50, 65. So 65, we'll trade this all in for better bills, really. So 50, 65 for beauty. So that was a positive change of 45. Cheers is ending the month with $5. That poor straggly five has been following us all month long. That was a negative change of 50. For clothing, we started the month with 160 and we are ending with 150, 70, 80, 90, 200 dollars. So we will put all this down. And we'll grab another $100 bill. Awesome. So 200 in clothing still. So that was a positive change of 40. All right, for date night, we are closing the month with 50, 65, 75. So 75, that's a positive change of 20. Let's get some better, a better 20 here. All right. So 75 still in date night, perfect. Gardening is ending the month with 110, 15, 25, 35. All right, so let's keep the better five. And we'll trade this all in. So we will get a 20, a 10, and a good five. Oh, I guess we had one there. That's all right. We have 135 still for gardening. So that was a positive change of 20. All right, gifts. Gifts is ending the month with 20, 35, 40. So we'll keep the 20 and trade this in for another 20. So that's 40 in gifts still. So that's a positive change of 30. All right, going out, we had nothing for the end of the month of October, but we're ending with $15 in going out. All right, for hobbies, we are ending the month with $25. So that was a change of 10. Perfect. And for home decor, we're ending the month with $300 this month. So we'll keep the 100, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 185, 95, so this is $200 total going back and we 
Yeah, let's get two one hundred dollars. Oh my goodness, that was the last one hundred dollar bill. Oof. Let's see what we can do. So home decor has three hundred. So that was one oh five. Positive change of one oh five. Hosting is ending the month with $25. Yeah, let's just get some better bills because we have some here for us. Okay, so that was a negative change of 25 and for splurge, we're ending the month with 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. Oh boy. But we'll put these down and we'll get two fifties. Okay. So that was a positive change of 90. And for technology, we're ending the month with 20, 40, 60, 75. I'm trying to see if I can keep here I'll get a better five and let's get a good 20 oh we have a good 20 what am I doing I need a 50 <laughs> so 50 75 So that was a change of negative change of $135. All right. Oh, ending with YouTube. It's one of our newer categories too. It has $15. And that's what we will write down. So let's see. For the ending of October, we had 20. So we ended this month with 15 and that means that there was a negative change of five all right so that's the set for low priority let's go ahead and give it all a count let's see what we have in total all right so we ended the month with a positive 2,175, what was that? 75, and that was a positive change of $470 in here. That's awesome. All right, let's move on to our vacation binder. So in all of these envelopes, we should have the same amount in each of them because they add the same amount each week. And um, we should have, I believe, $40, 25, 35, 40. So what I will do is I will trade all these fives in for a 20. And I will just speed this up for you guys so you won't get too bored. And yeah, I'll just also speed up me writing down the ending balances. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so our ending balance, since we have 10 categories and we have $40 in each, that is $400 total saved. And that was a positive change of $200 in our vacation binder. That's awesome. Let's move, All right, let's move on to our holidays binder and see what we can do in here for condensing. So we have $200 in New Year's Eve. Can't do anything there, but it looks like we do have a positive change of 10 here from last month. 
Valentine's Day has 100, 10, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll keep one of the better fives. And we'll trade this in. One of the good tens. So, $135. How cool is this old bill, you guys? Isn't that cool? It's from 1990. Love it. That's why I'm keeping it. <laughs> All right. So, Valentine's Day ended with $235. Or, sorry, $135. So, that was a positive change of $26 in there. Easter is ending with 50, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Can't do much there. But let's get some better ones. Okay. Those were a little wrinkled. But still 50, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79 in Easter. Love that cute little sticker that Taryn gave me from Breathe and Budget. That's where all these envelopes are from. In case you're interested in them, I have the um, her Etsy shop link down below for you guys. All right, so it looks like we added just $8 in Easter. For Mother's Day, we're ending the month with 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 56. So we'll trade these in for a five. So 56 still in Mother's Day. All right, so that was also a positive change of $8. Father's Day is ending the month with 20, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. All right. So yeah, we'll keep the nine and we'll trade this in for a 50, perfect. All right, and that was a positive change of $36, very nice. We are ending the month with 4th of July with 25, 26, 27, 28, and that is fully condensed. So what was that, 13? Yes, so that was a positive change of 13. Halloween is empty, and we probably won't cash stuff out until next year. So there was no change there. Thanksgiving, however, we spent that already. So there is zero there. And that was a negative change of $150. Christmas, however, still has its remaining $250. Because we finished that savings challenge. So that was a positive change of $40 for the month. All right, let's quickly add up these totals and see what we're at. So we ended the month with $807. So that gives us a negative change of nine. All right. Let's go into my husband's bolt binder. This one's a little sturdier. Let's see what we ended the month with. So in repair and maintenance, we have 200 in, um, so $200 total, 20, 40, 60, 81. Hmm, can only get two 50s, 25, 35, 40. So we'll trade all this in. For another 20. 
So that still puts us at 340, I believe. 200, 340. That is correct. At least it's condensed. You know, we don't have all those 20s and stuff like that. So 340 there. And that was a positive change of 100. Registration is ending with 20, 45, 55, 60. Okay, let's put this all down. And get, oh, why did I put that back there? That's so funny. All right, so 60, we have a 50 and a 10. Oof, I thought I had enough bills for this. I might have to come back to this one. So that was a positive change of 20. Equipment is ending the month with 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back for this. Wild, this is wild, you guys. 50, 70, 90, 100. Oh, I thought I had enough. Okay, so that was a positive change of 40. Gas has still $300. So there was no change there. Okay, fishing gear is ending with 50, 70, 85, 95, another 100. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back to this one. So that's still 50, 70, 90, 100 there. So that was a positive change of 25. Miscellaneous is ending with 20, 40, 55, 65. Okay. 20, 40. 45, 50, 55, 60. What am I talking about? It's ending with 60. Okay. So let's just put this down. Let's just get another 20 for 60 for now. We'll see if we can come back in here and do some more condensing. All right, so let's count this out real quick and see what we're ending with. So we have $960 total in our boat binder. And that was a change of $205 in there. Awesome. All right, you guys, we are taking some money back from in here. This is our dollar bill savings challenges i'll count this one last this is the one dollar bill savings let's go into our five dollar bill savings challenge this is going towards christmas and we did complete our tracker so we should have in here 180 dollars. so 155 65 75 80 so we'll keep the 50 because i can't take anything back to the bank here i only take back when there's like hundreds so 50, 70, 80. So we still have 180 for a $5 bill savings challenge. And really, once we tally up everything here for our ending balance, that's the total amount that I'll be using for our Christmas. So I truly can't wait to find out what that amount is. So 180 is our ending balance. And that gives us a change of $25 here, so a positive change of 25. Is that correct? Yep, 180. All right, so for our $10 bill savings challenge, let's see, we should have an ending balance of 290. Oh, so close to get a prop bill. 
oh, maybe next month because I haven't finished this one yet, but it's still the amount that we have for Christmas. So we have 200 in the bank, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. All right, let's see what we can do. So we'll get 20. Some of these 20s are really bad. 40, 60, 80. My goodness. So this should be 90. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Yep, so 290 for our $10 bill savings challenge. Let's write that down. So that was a positive change of $80 there. All right, for our $20 bill savings challenge, we're still working on it as well, but we should have $540 in here. We currently have 300 in the bank, so that means we should be taking back at least 200. So let's give it a count. Let's see. Should have 540. So 300, 50, 70, 90, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 40. So that is correct. We'll keep two 20s for the 40. So this should be $200. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 170, 190, 200. All right, we got some 50s in here. That should help us out. All right. So with these 300 plus the 200 I need to give myself, I will put these down and get, oh, I ran out of $500 props. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just do that for now. Yeah, I just checked. I don't have any more props for 500, but that's okay. So we have one, two, three, four, $540 still. That's awesome. We managed to save 540 so far for that $20 bill savings challenge. That's awesome. So 540 minus 380, and that was a positive change of $160. All right, for a $100 bill savings challenge. Oh, here, wait, I could probably trade that in. That's a 500 here. And I believe we should have one thousand dollars total so we have five six seven eight hundred in the bank and these are real 100s yay we could use these so actually i'm going to put all this down and i'm going to grab that one k slip awesome so one thousand total saved for our 100 dollars bill savings challenge that will be going to the bank awesome 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 so that was a positive change of 200. And let me go back to the $20 bill savings challenge. Let's take out these 100 props, put them down and get that 500. Awesome, 540 still in there. Great. All right, and for our 1000 emergency fund, we have the $40 that we started it off with. So that's what we have. And we did pay off that um, one, we took out the 1000 when we finished it and we paid it towards our boat loan. We're just restarting it. So it's a negative change of $960 because we did restart that. All right. So let's see what we are ending. Oh my God, that is so much skinnier. What am I doing? What am I doing? Hold the phone. We need to count this $1 bill savings challenge all right so last month we ended with 275 let's see what we ended this month with in our one dollar bill savings challenge this is so exciting you guys we managed to save one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two three four five six seven eight nine thirty 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 52 dollars, you guys. 52. That is amazing. All right. So back here, we do have some real and prop. 
So if we add 275 plus 52, that is a total of $327 saved. $300, $300. What am I doing? So 327, right? So let's go ahead and give ourselves another $100 prop. because so we'll be taking 100 back to the bank and we will be giving ourselves 25, 26, and 27. The rest will be going back to the bank that's exciting. I am so, so happy with this dollar bill savings challenge. I'm telling you guys, every little bit adds up. And I love that we saved this way this year for Christmas. You know, um, it's just been really, really fun with you guys. So next month, yes, I will continue my dollar bill savings challenge and we can just continue to add a little bit so I'll go ahead and wipe that out and I'll still keep adding to Christmas, but technically this is it. This is how much we have to spend for Christmas because it's right around the corner. Have you guys done some shopping? I haven't. <laughs> so 327 minus 275 is a positive change of 52 because that's what we just counted out. So 52 there, perfect. Now that is fully condensed. Wow, look at that. I have some space now. Let's add this up and see how much we have saved for Christmas, you guys, and minus the 40 for our 1k savings. So we have 327 plus 180, 290, 540, 1000. So that's $2,337 saved in our savings challenges for gifts for Christmas and our white elephant um, from our Christmas envelope there has 250. So all in all, I have managed to save $2,587 using this method starting in July. That's impressive, you guys. I'm really, really proud of ourselves for sticking to it and now we have $2,500 to spend on Christmas and not feel so guilty about it or, you know, like, this is our budget. That is exciting. So, $2,337 is what we had, and then we have to add that $40. So, really, this is all totaling to $2,377. Let me just add that up real quick again, just in case. Yep, 2,377 minus the 2,820. That's a negative change. And the reason why there's this big negative, it's explainable, is because of that 1K savings challenge. All right. Let's keep it moving. I wanted to go back to the boat binder because I wanted to use at least the 100s and the 50s in here. So let's go ahead and take out these 50s and put in a 100 for 340. I think this was one of them. Let's see. Nope, we're good there for 60. Equipment. Yep, this was one of them. Let's put this all back down. And let's get a 100 for equipment. Gas is good. Fishing gear had 100, but at least I can put this down and give myself another 50. That's okay, we could do that. Two 50s is better than all those other bills. And miscellaneous, we can put this back, give ourselves a 10 and a 50 for $60 in there. All right, perfect. That's a lot better. All right, going into our savings challenges, you guys. Wow, this one also, we will have money going back to the bank. So our 50 envelope is going to our medical emergency savings. So we currently have 600 in the bank and we will be taking back 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 95, 
$200. So let's put this all aside. And let's grab two $100 prop bills. Okay, so that's 800 and one, two, three, four, five. So we'll put these down and grab a five. All right, so, so far we have five, six, seven, eight hundred and six dollars saved for our 50 envelope savings challenge. Wow, that's a lot of money going back. I'm so happy about that. So really, we put in here $200. Wow, that's impressive. Yay, you guys, we're done with our $500 bill, um, our $500 savings challenge that goes towards our vision fund. I don't have a $500 prop, but we'll just put another $100 bill. So we have 400 currently in the bank. So this should be 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, $100 going back to the bank. And this will go towards our vision fund for our glasses. Next year, we'll be doing all those appointments and definitely need new glasses, you guys. Mine are pretty old. So one, two, three, four, 500 represents this savings challenge. And really what I should do is I'll take this out since we are done with it. I won't be finishing or I won't be restarting this this year. Maybe we'll do it next year. So I'll take this out and retire it. And let's go into our high priority binder. Let's go into vision real quick. And we'll be adding this 500 to our vision fund. So, so exciting. We have one, two, three, four, five, six hundred and fifty dollars for vision. I just traded in a better 50. Wow, that's amazing. I gotta update this tracker. So happy about that. But I will be putting it here that we saved 500 total for that challenge. So that was a positive change of 90 there. Awesome. Our 26 week challenge, we're almost done with it. We'll go towards our dental emergency fund. So we currently have 500 in the bank. We ended the month with 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, another 100. So let's put this down 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 91. Okay, and then, oh, I already grabbed it. So in here we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we'll keep this and this should be 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Going down. Okay, let's grab one of our good tens here. So we managed to save $616 so far. Awesome. So from 616 minus 512, that's a positive change of $104 for this month. Our 1000 emergency fund will go towards our medical emergency. We've managed to save 600 in the bank, 700, $840. I'll put this all down and grab two $100 props. Oh, I like this one better. It's so cute. All right. So this is still $800 going to the bank, $840 total. We are so close in finishing this, you guys. So excited. So that means we added 200 to here. All right, our character challenge is one of our newer challenges. And let's see what we have in here that we can condense. We have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 205. All right, let's put this down. So we have 205. Let's go ahead and get 250, so that's fine. So 205 is still in there. Okay. Stuffopoly, 
Oh, let me write that down. So we ended with 205. Awesome. All of these will be a positive because we started this pretty much at the end of October, really, I believe. So, yeah, we don't have a starting balance for any of these, really. Stuffopoly, it, it currently has 250, 70, 90, 300. Put this down and grab a 50 because that's all we can do. So that's 300 and 25, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So we'll trade this in for about a 20 and these in for a 10. Wow, we have so many fives to count, you guys. <laughs> this is getting so packed. All right. So this should still be 300, right? 1, 2, 3, 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Perfect. 339 is what we're ending with in Stephopoly. Our 1,000 emergency fund, well, this is technically going towards debt. All of these savings challenges are. And we are ending the month with 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 200. So let's put all of this down. Oh my goodness, we're going to have so much small bills to count, you guys. Wow. So let's grab another 100. And this is 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 225 dollars. Oh look, this is a star note. I'm keeping that one. So this should be 20, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. All right, so 51, 52, 225. So far saved for that cute little savings challenge. So positive change of 225. For our mystery scratch off, let's see how much we have saved so far. 50, 70, 80, 95, 100, and 5, 6, 7, 8. Keep one of the good fives. We'll get better ones. So 50, 70, 80, 95, 100. Let's get better ones. Oh, shoot. I should have gotten. Yep. So 51, 5, 6, 7, 8. 108. Let me see if that's correct. Yep. 108 is correct. I like to double check my work because I don't think I have trackers for these, do I? Oh, I do. 108 right there. Wow. Didn't have to do it the long way. All right, and for our diamond savings challenge, I think this is fully condensed already, yes. 250 is correct. Each of these are worth $50, so that's one, two, 250 in there. Awesome. Okay, let's write that down. 250. Awesome, you guys, look at that. This is way smaller, that's awesome. All right, you guys, let's add this up real quick and we'll see how much we have saved so far. All right. 
So we've managed to save $3,889 for our savings challenges. And that was a positive change of $1,721. So let's add up the final totals or the subtotals. So that's $2,377 plus $3,889. That is a subtotal of $6,266, which gives us a positive change of $1,278. That is awesome. I am really happy about that. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and give all of our subtotals a count overall per page and that will give us our grand total saved for the end of the month. And we'll see the difference between what we started with and what we're ending with. So for a high priority binder, that was for $5,402. Our low priority ended with 2,000. So we're adding 2,175. And for our vacation, we have 400 in there. For our holidays, Oh, I didn't add these two up. So we have 807 plus 960. And then we have for our savings challenges, 6,266. So it looks like we ended for the month of November with a grand total of $16,010. That brings it to... So the difference between the two from when we started and when we ended, we have a positive change of $1,715 between all of our binders. That makes me so happy, you guys. All right, you guys, so I'm going to put this away. And it is the moment of truth to make sure... We have in here $1,000 plus everything that we'll be taking back to the bank. So I did have a note on the side here. So we should have a grand total of $2,490 because we're adding $1,000 from, you know, what we started with to make our exchanges for. So yeah, so exciting. Look at that final bill condensing you guys so we're gonna do it with our calculator and slowly so let's start with 50s so we have 51 50 so 150 for 20s we have 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 140, 1,140 in 20s. For tens, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, so this is 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 550 in 10s. All right. The fives, it's going to get interesting in the ones. So let's make some room and we'll make some piles if we have to. This is a lot to count. We have, oof, I can't even grab it all. We have 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1. 
5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45. So this is 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1. So 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1. So that should be already 400. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1. This is 500, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60. So this is 60 and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So $560 in fives. And for ones, let's see what we got. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oof, this is getting stuck. Let me use Erica's sort quick for this one. The ones are getting stuck. You can find the sort quick, this blend, beautiful bling out sort quick in my description box below. Her name is Making It Bling. Well, it used to be. She's now Drip by E. But her, her website is down below if in case you're interested. We have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is $50 total. Let's do that, 50. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 2,000. $500 total. I must have counted something wrong. I don't know why I have an extra 10 in here. Oh boy. What did we do wrong? Or maybe I added up these wrong. Oh, you know what? I wrote down that I have $90 here for vision but I think it's supposed to be a hundred. Let me double check that real quick. And anyways, this is $2,500. I'm sure when I'm editing, I will find the error and correct it. But anyways, thank you guys again for watching this video. It was probably a lengthy one for you guys, but you seem to enjoy them. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. It truly helps my channel. And I hope that you did enjoy and learn something new on today's channel. Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my future videos. And I did want to say a huge thank you to Jen at Two Sister Bees for sharing my channel in your last um, cash stuffing video for your final Christmas funds. I watched that video I don't know how many times and I was still in shock when I saw her mention a huge shout out to my channel. And if you do come from Two Sister Bees, you are loved and welcome here on my channel. I am so happy to have you here. And yeah, thank you so much, Jen, if you do end up watching it to the very end. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It truly means the world to me. All right, you guys, I will catch you in my next video. God bless. Mm -hmm.